Uh, so speaking of mixers and producers, uh, what's it like for you? Uh, I'm sure that like uh, you've been asked a million times, what's it like having Eric in the band? But I'm actually curious, what's it like for you as a musician having the producer in the band, like the producer and mixer in the band? Like not like what's it like having Eric in the band as a guitar player, more like just uh, what's it like having the dude that actually records and mixes the stuff be um, in the band? Like, does that change your approach to the studio or approach to band members? Or like, how does that factor in? Man, I mean, I think you're, you're going to be pleasantly surprised with my answer. You know, like, he's my friend before anything, you know, like when I met him, he was in ripping corpse and I, I was in monstrosity or, or malevolent. I don't even remember. I think I was in monstrosity doing shows with them. This was back in 1990. And that's when I met him. He was in ripping corpse. We did some festival together and, you know, we ended up just being killer friends along you know, over time when he joined Morbid, we did a tour, you know, with Cannibal in Europe and we just ended up being really good friends and like, you know, his position in the band as the producer, like, I don't even really think about it. Like when we're playing in the band, he's just my friend that is playing guitar in the band with us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it doesn't affect anything in the way that I'm looking at it. You know, I mean, of course, it's the, the ultimate, like, superpower to have the producer in the band because yeah, seriously, he understands what we're going for. Like, I mean, that's, that's the main reason why we started working with him for the Kill record because we knew him for so long. He's a death metal guitarist. He's a death metal vocalist. And he knows what we're going for sonically. So right there, that's, that was just a win-win. And then like having him in the band, that's just like, well, geez, he already knows what we're going for. And having him in the band, he's just even investing more than he was before. Not that he wasn't investing 100% into making our record sound as good as he possibly could, but him being in the band as well, you know, it's just another like level. That, it's even more investment for him, you know? So it's just like amazing. He's not just any guitarist too. Like he's fucking sick guitarist. Like, Oh yeah. yeah he's top of the crop right there. Yeah. So it's, it's like not, yeah, it's not just some dude who has a studio. Like, he's a fucking... No. You know, he, you know what he's talking about? A fucking bad motherfucker. Yeah, like, there, there was no audition or anything, you know? It was just like, well, if we could get Eric then, and he wants to join, then there's no auditioning people or anything. Yeah, yeah, 